Hi everyone, welcome back to Tori Tuesday. If you guys remember two weeks ago, I said that I wanted to incorporate a little bit more of my story into what I was speaking about. It's hard to believe that that was two weeks ago, but it was. I wanted to last week do a topic that wouldn't dive as deep and get as intense as this week, but my computer crashed and so I thought that, you know what, let's just go for it. This week will be a little bit deeper of a topic. But I hope you all are up for it because so am I. So let's do this thing. Um, before I start, I'd like to say that if um, any of you are sensitive to the topic of sexual harassment or assault, I would advise you to make the best decision whether or not you should watch this video. I believe that you will make the best decision if that is a good option for you or not. But nevertheless, here we go. It's always been hard for me to seek God through tough times. Um, through my parents' divorce and through um, a really difficult time in my life when I was deciding whether or not I even wanted to be on this earth anymore. I didn't really see God through those times. But during what I would consider the hardest point in my life, I, I can look back and see God there the entire time. At the end of freshman year, I started talking to a boy who I didn't think that I would be talking about right now. He was one of my friends who made me laugh and I shared a couple classes with him. But around March I began to talk to him more and we, we texted, we snapchatted, and he s started flirting with me but then eventually made his feelings very clear for me. It was all innocent until it wasn't. I felt like all of a sudden he was saying disgusting and inappropriate things to me that I wasn't comfortable with. I never told anyone because I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I thought, you know, he's just a boy being a boy. I didn't take into consideration that he took boys being boys to a whole different level. I didn't know that one of the conversations that we had one night, I wouldn't even be able to speak about a whole year later. I didn't realize how wrong the things that he was saying to me were. I didn't know at the time how much he could be hurting me through a screen. I didn't know the little level of damage he caused until the next fall retreat with my church. The week before the retreat, I was really thinking about him and the situation and how broken I was, but I couldn't really do anything about it. I remember our youth pastor um, in one of his sermons said that whatever happened to you wasn't your fault and that God loves you no matter how broken you are. That message made me break down and, um, and understand the level of hurt that he had caused in my life. It made me realize that this boy who made me feel like an object, and made me fe feel useless, was working his way into my relationships. What happened with him made me not even trust my boyfriend then. He made me feel like every boy who talked to me just wanted to use me as an object. A girl came up to me after the message during worship um, and asked to pray for me. And of course I said yes. Um, she asked what I wanted prayer for and didn't ask my name. I said that I wanted prayer for peace and um, healing for the brokenness that was in me. She said everything that I needed to hear in that prayer. It was the most powerful prayer I've ever heard in my life. But near the end, she said that it wasn't her speaking and that it was God who was going to heal everything. She addressed me by my name and said, that God was going to heal me of anything that I was going through. I have seen so much growth and healing since then. I've seen that God was holding me this entire time and no matter what I went through, that he was there and that he was present. The thing is, you guys, my story is common. There are so many people that have experienced what I have. My message to them, to you, if you're going through this, is that you're not alone. No matter how small or big your story may seem, your voice still matters and it still hurts. And I'm lucky that this boy didn't go past the point of harassment. I'm lucky that I was smart enough to say something to my small group leader about it. No matter the story or the person, you have a voice and you are being heard. And if you ever need anything, if you ever need to talk, I am open and our DMs or my DMs are open and I will always be willing to talk to you. This is a problem that teenage boys are thinking is normal. And so are teenage girls. I thought that this wasn't that big of a deal until I realized I was hurt and I was broken and I needed that one thing that was gonna heal me and that was God. And when guys hear this message, they think that I'm, that people are somehow attacking them and saying that, you know, all guys are like that. But when in reality, guys aren't the only ones who do stuff like this. Girls are guilty of it too. We just need 
as a generation to fix the problems that we've already created and that what we think is normal isn't what God intended for us. God intended love to be a beautiful thing that we get to experience with another person, not something that's forced or that makes us uncomfortable. It's hard to address something like this. And I just hope that whoever's listening to this right now can hear it with an open heart and an open mind that it's not uncommon and it's not rare. That's what breaks my heart the most is that people are immune to stories like this because it's so common and people are so used to boys saying disgusting things to girls and girls saying disgusting things to guys. It's not just guys who are doing this. It's not just girls who are doing this. People aren't being oversensitive. We should have addressed this years ago when it was starting, when people thought that it was normal. Like I said, if you ever need anything, if you are struggling with the same thing that I did, I am all ears to hear your story and I am all ears to help you. If you ever need someone to get something out to or if you need advice, I'm here and I've gone through it. You are not alone. Your voice is being heard and I'm here to say that I'm here for you. No matter what, God is also. He's right behind you. No matter what you're going through, he will always be there for you. I love you all and I hope that you have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow. Please be smart and safe and I will see you all next week with another video. Goodbye.